Hello everybody and welcome to Tech Idea. Here we make tutorials on topics that might help you in one way or the other and today we're going to be looking at on how to use OBS. First and foremost you want to download OBS from the OBS website. Once you've downloaded that you want to open up your OBS. Once you're opened up in your OBS you want to go to settings and from settings over here you want to go to stream. From there you want to select which platform you want to stream on. If it's Twitch, you connect your account. If it's YouTube, you use your stream key, as well as connect your account. It depends on what you're using. So remember, for streaming, you definitely have to go there. For output, you need to come to output. You want simple. This is for the beginners out there. And I'm pretty sure no one's looking at this video if they're not a beginner. So over here, you want to select your appropriate bitrate, your video bitrate. Your video bitrate determines the quality of your video output. So the higher the bitrate, the better the quality and the more the bandwidth it's going to uh, require. So if you have an internet speed of less than 50 Mbps, do not use a bitrate higher than 2400. But if you have an internet speed of 100 uh, megabits per second, then you're more than welcome to use any bitrate you want. I would recommend using a lower bitrate just because it's much uh, if you're playing an online game, a lower bitrate will ensure better connectivity. Then you want to go to your audio and from here, you just want to keep it all same. Like you don't want to change anything. Definitely, you want to select your mic and your desktop audio. You want to keep it default just so that your desktop audio does get picked up. And this is for those that are trying to get a video. Yes, you can use OBS for recording. As we can see, start record, start streaming. You can use OBS for recording. And over here in advance, you have more details, which we don't need to go to. Over in hotkeys, you can create appropriate hotkeys for streaming, stopping your stream, as well as making videos if you want. As you can see, I have put some here and I know a lot of people are, um, they want to customize their OBS well. For that, you want to go to studio mode over here. You can, it's going to give you previews. You can put in transitions, anything you want. It's for changing from one scene to another. That's the basic, the basic setup. And Obviously, you can do more with OBS, but as my time is running low, this is all I'm going to show you for now. But with OBS, you can put in a lot of things such as um, a mic capture. Well, I, but for beginners, I would suggest using Streamlabs. Streamlabs is also a type of OBS, but this is so much easier to use as you can go to the app store over here and download custom transitions that made that is made by other people. Yes, it does cost you money, but it that that cost is for the luxury you get for OBS. You can download from online and then you'll have to transfer those scenes over here as you can see scene transfers obviously i don't use this obs normally which is why i have nothing here so hopefully this video was helpful if it was don't forget to drop a like and if you want to see more tutorials like this in the future hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell thank you so much for watching Bye bye